Well, it must be three o'clock because here I am. Hi, everybody. I'm glad you're here. I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment. I teach fun art, not fine art, and I'd like to welcome you to the show today. Uh, we are going to be continuing what we did a little bit of yesterday and I want you to um, enjoy the show as much as I do. Uh, I'm going to set my computer so that I can see you and see your comments. That's the big deal. I want to see who's here. <clears throat> so let's get on with the show. Uh, I want to, yesterday, well, one of the past projects that we had just requires a little touch up here, and I thought you'd want to see that. Uh, this was done about two weeks ago, and this is a bag of a barn, picture of a barn, and I'm just going to tie a bow on this. So it just always finishes it off. Um, I'm trying to get this so I can see what you're saying. Okay. Now I'm just going to tie a bow. Uh, this kind of sets it apart so it doesn't look like Now, if you come on while I'm talking, just make yourself at home and let me know who's here. Um, I thought I'd have to trim this, but I really don't. Um, this is just to kind of finish it off. And I've done it on a couple of bags and it just looked good. So anyway, kind of homespunny. And then I've got the one from last week. I'm just going to put a little something, something on here. And it kind of goes with the, hey, PJ, where are you? Hey, Rhonda. I felt so bad I couldn't be there on time this morning. This was my annual physical. Uh, I thought, I mean, I would have given you uh, odds that I had gained 10 pounds when we were in Louisiana. I ate everything and then some, and it was good. It was all good, and I kind of justified it must be healthy. So anyway, I'm just proud that I can see all of you today. Now, what we did yesterday, uh, uh, I'm in the activity room, by the way, of Florida Grand Motor Coach Resort. This is where I teach a painting class, and PJ is one of my fine, fine students. Um, <clears throat> and we are going to uh, be talking about, uh, we're finished the dominoes, but I wanted to show you something. This is the one that we did yesterday. And you know what? I made a mistake. I'm willing to admit I make a mistake. Rarely, but I make mistakes. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding about that. Um, but we finished this one, and I wanted to let it dry overnight. And let me show you the chain that I put on these. This is what it looks like. But what I was going to say, my big mistake was, is that I put this on Zoom. And then I forgot to take it out of Zoom. And I didn't realize it until I played the video back. And I'm thinking, why aren't they seeing what I'm doing? It's right there. Uh, this is a 30 inch chain. I like working with a 30 inch chain on this particular project <coughs> because I can just slip this 
chain over my head. No worries about breaking the chain uh, that way anyway. So this is just a pendant and there it is. Oops. There it is. So I hope you like it. And that's a domino pendant decorated with alcohol ink. And uh, like I said, I have lots of dominoes to work on these. These are awesome gifts. People love them. And they're kind of a, uh, oh, this is something else that we put on it. I just put it in a bag. But it's kind of like a conversation thing. People say, oh, I like this. What kind of rock is it? They think it's a rock. And it isn't. It's the domino, and it is uh, after I finish it, I will spray it a couple of times, usually with something like this. This is my favorite thing, triple thick clear glaze. And uh, it only takes it a few minutes to dry. And then I'm okay. Got a completed project now, and I'm going to put these other ones away. Uh, yesterday I showed you that you could put an embellishment on, on the domino. Uh, this one is flat, of course, and I cut some things off of it uh, to make it look authentic and antique. And uh, so these are a lot of fun to do, and they, you always have successful dominoes, domino jewelry. Okay, I'm going to put that away. And I thought that we would do some more. You know, I told you yesterday, I want you to feel real comfortable about doing the alcohol ink bookmarks. They're beautiful. And uh, I'm going to make three today. And then tomorrow we'll finish them off uh, by um, putting them through the laminator and putting the the ties on them. The tassels are are just not necessary. This is the one we did and let me see this this one. So see they just turn out so pretty. Uh, I am going to take a white pen just because I love the Signo Uniball and write something on here or I'll also take an archival ink and stamp uh, some French writing on there. Uh, to make it look like I'm real smart and I know French. Hey Rhonda, I'm so glad you're here. We have two Rhondas here. Now how special is that? Uh oh, I dropped something. This is a pipette that I use whenever I'm dropping uh, the uh, uh, ink onto uh, the Yupo paper. Now I wouldn't say, Rhonda, I know that uh, Rhonda is a teacher in Hamilton County which is north of here, and she's always looking for things that young people can do that doesn't cost very much. And I showed you some things yesterday, uh, and they're in the, they are in um, yesterday's video, if you wanna go back and see that. And I also told you, I couldn't understand why can't they see this box, it's not that big. But I have about three boxes of inks, and that's what we're going to use today. I'm going to pick out some nice colors, and they're named crazy little names, like these are Ranger or Tim Holtz. Uh, you can get, get them from Amazon. Uh, like this one is called Sunset Orange, uh, Wild Plum, Indigo. Why didn't they just say purple? Why didn't they just... This is Butterscotch, and I wanted a red one, but Red, red is called poppy field. So we'll, we'll try that one. And this one is called sunshine yellow. So I'm, I'm gonna use those. Now, you can wear gloves with this. These are all washable. I wear paint well. So uh, if, um, if you see me, you're probably going to see something with paint on it. My phone is dropping down. I don't know what's going on here. Bad cameraman. So anyway, we're going to take a couple of these pages and work on them today uh, because I'd like to suggest these are excellent 
gifts. Uh, if you wanted to give a book with it, um, that's definitely a nice gift, but not necessary. Uh, let's see. Uh, the UPO paper is the difference. The, the crazy thing about UPO paper is that it's watercolor paper when you get down to it. And so it's a little bit different. It takes on the, the, uh, the, uh, the ink um, very well, and the inks are very vibrant uh, pigments. So anyway, sounds like I know what I'm talking about, doesn't it? I do. Okay, I'm going to get me down in, I'm going to put me in a little circle, because you don't need to be seeing me. Uh, and let's see how this works out. Remember how I always do this? And there. I really can do it when I set my mind to it. Okay, we're going to work on one at a time. Doesn't matter which side. I haven't found that it, that it worked on one side. Um, now, what I wanted to tell you, if I can just, uh, what do you say? If I can go back to what I was saying a minute ago. I meant to show you this. These are the bales that we put on the back of the dominoes. That, I can't think of it. Um, and this is the glue that I use to put the bales on here. I have one that doesn't have a bale, and I was going to show that to you. Okay, here's one. And I, like I said, I like to wait at least um, overnight um, before I use these. Um, it needs to really dry. And see, it's very easy. You just put it on the back side of the domino. This one is a number five. Remember yesterday I said some people, numbers mean something to some people. So if you know somebody that has a special number and you give that to them, they don't think you're special. So anyway, we'll leave that one to dry until in uh, tomorrow. Actually, I have one more that doesn't have a bale to it. I might as well go ahead and do this. And then we're going to get on with uh, the uh, bookmark. Is that okay with y'all? Now, last week, someone suggested that, what's going on here? Someone suggested that we do alcohol inks this week. Uh, digress, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Rhonda. <laughs> uh, she's so smart. Okay. This is number 11. See, that could mean something to somebody, and you don't know. Digress, yeah. I, um, by the way, my physical went fine this morning. I told him, I said, I forget words every once in a while. Like the other day, I couldn't remember the word bail. He says, don't worry about it. We all do that. So, okay, I'm not going to worry about it, and I'm not going to worry about my weight. Well, I'm kind of worried about it, but I'm not going to do anything about it today. I made a big pot of Brunswick stew, and that's what we're having for dinner. I put enough up, so if y'all come over, we'll have a pot. We, we'll just get into it. Okay, I'm going to drop a couple of drops on here. And remember, these cannot be used straws. No. Okay, see, this is a new one. I just opened it up. Very important. Everybody has their own straw. And I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm serious, but I'm kidding. Okay. Now I'm going to... Oh, one of the, the only problems that I have here with these inks is if you put them away wet, they're going to... They really are hard to open. Anyone who's in my classes will tell you this may cause shortness of breath. So just don't carry on. You know, just don't do it all day. Uh, and I'm going to put... See how hard that is to open? Okay, I'm going to put this over here so you can see it. And I, can't, I don't want to do more than one at a time because 
you'll see I'm moving a lot of colors around. This is something for all age levels. Nope, I don't want to use that. Now in just a minute, you don't have to use very much and you don't have to um, Okay, see that's real ugly, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna just come over here. Uh, when you're doing this project, you have to use 91% alcohol, not the kind you drink. 91% alcohol. And I see it all the time at Walgreens. And so now we're just gonna, by drops, drop this around and start moving the ink around. Now, I'll show you another way that I do this. I always instruct my classes that, um, you know, a little bit goes a long way, but you can do this any way you want. And if you start adding too much color, it's going to turn black. I've made coasters. Um, and I use on the back of the coast. I got I got my tiles for the coasters at a restore. Very good hint for you, Rhonda. Um, re I think I, I got them probably for a dime a piece or something like that. But they always are getting boxes of tile, and I may have put too much on there. Uh, they get boxes of tiles in, and they also get the. 8x8 eight eight tiles, which are also good just if you want to do one tile. Uh, I use felt on the back of the 8x8s, eight eight, and I use um, cork, which I buy. Now, I've bought the sheets of cork. Um, now, this is really going to be pretty, although it looks like I've overdone it. It's going to be pretty. And I have a little dauber here that I'm going to... I don't want to mess that up. <sighs> That's going to be real pretty. And if I decide I want another color in there, I'll just do it. This needs to dry overnight. And that's why I wanted to do all three of these. We'll do, it in, do them in different colors. And I'm going to set it over here to dry. Tomorrow, uh, or actually I might go back to that one. I'm going to do a completely different Oops. Now these these are about they're, they're about. Uh, three of them come to a package and I think I saw them a while ago when I was in Claremont for about $9.99 uh, so uh, you use your 40% off coupon and um, and it's still a lot and you but these inks last so long I'm sure I have some of these that have lasted me for years uh, We'll just start moving some stuff around. I want a green. Sorry. See, it's real hard to... And that's really ugly right now, isn't it? Now, if there's any project that y'all would like to see next week, uh, you might make a request. I do everything... Uh, in the class, um, keep in mind that RVers don't have a lot of room on their walls for canvases. So we usually do, I have some really, really nice projects coming up that we've never done. They've been done in history, but not, not in my classes. I'll have to show you some. I've got, I brought some over here because it was overwhelming. 
Now, let me put a little bit of alcohol in here, not the kind you drink. And we're just going to move this around a little bit. And my little dauber is right here. And I'm just trying to get over to the edges. And when I get, when I complete this, yes, a cotton ball would work as a dauber. I would wear a plastic glove, like one of those blue deals, a vinyl glove when I'm doing it so it just doesn't mess your hands up. It will wash off, but you know, it isn't that it won't wash off, it's that it gets in your cuticles. And that's, that's looking nasty there. Every one of them are different, no matter who does it. I'm going to, but the vinyl gloves help keep it from getting in your, the cuticles. Um, Less is more, like I said, if, if it starts, um, I'll usually let it dry and then put some more alcohol on it. The colors, like I said, the pigments are, are beautiful. Okay, we're gonna put this one over here and I'm gonna do one without, let me show you this one while it's drying. over here in my drying booth. Uh, I'm going to just put a little bit of alcohol on here. There's also something called alcohol. Um, it's, it's something you use on top, but it, um, it kind of dilutes it, but it's just like the alcohol to me. So well, this is what happens when you come back and put some more alcohol on it. Alcohol uh, dries really fast, and so that's why this is dry before you know it. And I think I'll just leave that. Isn't that pretty? Uh, and, um, when we had our class here, I needed tassels because I wanted to put each um, bookmark with a tassel and present it to someone and as a gift. And do you know where we got the tassels? You're gonna really find this interesting. Uh, a funeral home. So anyway, problem solved, and they probably would let you have a box of them for a very reasonable price. I believe they come like 50 to a box. I would like to make up enough. See, this is now it's a little bit different. I would like to make up enough to where I'm just going to leave this one. It looks kind of dark, but it's going to be okay, I promise. And use them in a memorial service. So I'm going to take some different ones this time. Just so you can, I'll, I want you to see a variety of different colors. This one is called terracotta. So we'll see if they're telling the truth here. No, they're not. That doesn't look like terracotta. Uh, there's even a, there's black. Oh, this is called teak wood. This is, uh, so this is going to be done in neutrals. Hey, right now it looks like leopard. Oh, I wonder if you could do a leopard. Uh, 
I guess I put my neutrals over here. I am going to put a color in here. There's just, this just needs a color. And that, it no longer looks like a leopard. I just wanted to say thank you a lot for looking at this today. If you've never seen um, my Artitude Adjustment Live, uh, every Monday I present a new project. And by Friday, I'm presenting a new one for the following week. So they're all different. Like I said, RVers don't carry around a lot of canvases. Uh, I do a lot of like the shopping bags. Everybody likes the shopping bags and they're kind of collectibles around here. Um, and I do all different kinds, like I'll do flamingos and shells and beaches and flip flops. Uh, and uh, I teach here at Florida Grand as well as going to RV resorts and RV rallies all over the country. And my husband is nice enough to escort me and chaperone me. And I don't need a chaperone, by the way. I'm not that crazy. But my husband will uh, is very supportive of what I do. And I meet a lot of really nice people doing this. And I want to put... Um, Actually, I need a yellow. Uh, you can use a hair dryer to move the, the paint around if you can't catch your breath. Uh, this is what I'm looking for. There's always more than one way to skin a cat. Okay, now I'm just going to see it's all personal preference. I'm going to let this one dry and I haven't decided this one's really going to be very pretty and I've got one more thing to do to it just because I want to. Okay, we'll see if that will spread out a little bit, and it is. It's called alcohol blending solution, and that's what you can use um, instead of always using the alcohol. Um, it's also found over in the Tim Holtz Ranger area of um, Hobby Lobby and Michaels. So... If this is something you'd like to try, it's a lot of fun. Plus, it makes beautiful bookmarks. And I need another drop. See, I've put too much here and how it turns black. We'll lighten it up a little bit. Maybe I just made matters worse, huh? That was about to take flight. Okay. Now, I'd like, I think I said, thank you very much for being here today. Um, this is, uh, let me see. That's me. If you're looking for me on Facebook, that is what you put in the search area. And I, then if you are looking for me on YouTube, that's the name of my YouTube channel. And this is the name of uh, my course. 
and it's a lot of fun. I, like I said, I teach fun art, not fine art. And I hope you will be here tomorrow. We will be here at 3 p.m. We're going to finish these up. I'll have the laminator uh, revved up and we'll um, finish those as well as uh, these three bookmarks so you'll know what to do. Uh, like I said, my supplies, I'm an Amazon influencer and I'm going to post uh, the the name of that page I put on that page I put projects together by uh, category like you would see this alcohol inks uh, if you are Amazon Prime. So y'all just have a great day. It's a great day to have a great day. And uh, thank you all for being here. I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye now.